Mr. Ortiz, Sergeant Major Alam, family and friends, good morning and welcome to the Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Center of Excellence graduation ceremony for the Army's Master Leader Course. I am Master Sergeant Adams. I will be your narrator for today's ceremony. The Master Leader Course was developed to prepare selected senior non-commissioned officers for positions of greater responsibility throughout the Department of Defense. The aim of this course is to further develop the professional skills and competencies required of master sergeants in the 21st century. This is accomplished in a rigorous learning environment where the program is designed to test each student on all important aspects of performance for the increased leadership and management responsibilities required of all senior non-commissioned officers. These graduates have completed a demanding six-week course of study which will enhance their professional abilities as senior non-commissioned officers. Additionally, they will assist the non-commissioned officer leadership center of excellence and the Army as we formalize this important gateway of NCO progression and education. At this time, the invocation will be given by Chaplain Deborah Brown, followed by the playing of the National Anthem. Please pray in your faith as I pray in mine. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time and this moment. As we convene this graduation ceremony in honor of our graduates of the Master Leader Course. Lord, you allow them to complete another milestone in their lives, and for that, we say thank you. Lord, I thank you for allowing them to maintain, sustain, but most of all, be diligent in their studies to get to this completion. Now, as they completed another step in their lives, I ask that you order those steps and be with them, guide them, direct them, but most of all, allow your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be a part of their leadership no matter where they go. We ask your anointing to fall fresh upon them. Bless them now and forevermore. Amen. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Who say does that star spangled banner yet It is now my honor to introduce the Chief Instructor of Master Leader Course, Sergeant Major Yolanda Hill. Good morning, Mr. Ortiz, Sergeant Major Alam, distinguished guests, leaders, family members, and friends. Thank you all for attending the graduation ceremony for the Master Leader Course. A requirement for promotion to Master Sergeant under the Select, Train, Educate, and Promote policy, this course is designed to challenge and educate Selected Sergeant First Class in the areas of professional writing, communication, public speaking, critical thinking, organizational and command leadership, mission command, joint and operational level warfighting, readiness, health and administrative requirements. This course contains 21 lessons with a total of 112 academic hours in a distributed learning environment. The MSc lessons are progressive, sequential, and covers four competency areas, communications, leadership, management, and operations. This course provides the Army with competent senior non-commissioned officers who maintain a positive presence, are self-aware, adaptive, and able to shape the joint operational environment. These NCOs will overcome the friction created by a continuously changing operational environment. This course is only as successful as the facilitator who leads it. Like the students, our facilitators have to be agile and adapt to evolving environments, enabling them to deliver the best education this level of PME has to offer. The truth is, the Master Leader course is successful because we have talented senior non-commissioned officers who are passionate and love what they do. At this time, I would like to thank the MSC facilitators for their continuous dedication to excellence, ensuring our Army has the best trained and educated Master Sergeants across the Army. Ladies and gentlemen, 
our guest speaker. Good morning, distinguished guests, friends, family, and graduates of the Master Leaders course. Today is a great day for our Army as we continue to develop and prepare senior non-commissioned officers for the challenges ahead. Honored to address this class, I would like to talk about compliance versus commitment, culture versus climate, and motivation versus inspiration. Compliance versus commitment. As a leader, do you want your soldiers to be committed to the organization or do you want your soldiers to comply with the rules and regulations that governs our organizations? It is a rhetorical question. However, the difference between a good organization and a great organization is commitment or compliance. In a good organization, soldiers follow the rules. They listen to their sergeants and they do what is right to avoid getting into trouble. In such an organization, sergeants do not have to tell their soldiers what to do. The soldiers just do it because it is the right thing to do. They perform their duties. This is a well-oiled machine where parts are in synchrony. Soldiers within the organization do their jobs and they comply. On the other end, a great organization is transformational and epitomizes commitment. When your soldier is committed, they cannot wait to come to work each day. They go home at night fantasizing and romanticizing about the next day. They think about ways to improve themselves and the organization. They cannot wait to show you an idea they have. Why? Because they know that organizational success hinges on their ingenuity, intuitiveness, critical thinking, and critical thinking. They just don't work at the organization. The organization is theirs to improve, theirs to protect, and theirs to uphold at all times. They are invested into this organization because the organization is invested in them. Success or failure, they are a part of it. This is a committed soldier. Fellow non-commissioned officers, I challenge you to create, develop, and foster a committed soldier. Graduate from compliance and embrace commitment. Invest in your soldiers, and them too will invest in you. The question now becomes, what and how do you change the way we do business? How do you create a committed organization? How do you create a learning organization? You do this through positive command, culture, and climate. The organization's culture is your commander's intent. The culture is where the commander wants to go. Culture is the face of the organization, and such, the uglier the soldiers, the uglier the culture. Ugly or uglier does not mean one's facial beauty, rather, one's attitude towards the organization. Climate, on the other hand, is your daily feelings about the organization that changes frequently. Culture without climate is like air without a breeze. It becomes stale and smell unpleasant. Climate is, a, is to culture what icing is to cake. You can have your cake without icing, but icing just makes it better. Sergeants, you are responsible for the climate that supports your commander's culture. So if you want your soldiers to be committed, become committed yourself. Don't just do something because you have to. Do it because it will make the organization better. It will make your soldiers better and make the army a better place. Motivation and inspiration. For years, we've been told that leadership encompasses purpose, motivation, and direction. Well, I want to give you something else for your toolkit. See, motivation takes too much time. Motivation is short-lived. Motivation is transactional. Means I have to give you something to get something in return. And inspiration is the difference between a good and a great organization. And inspiration is what drives change. 
Inspiration makes believers out of non-believers, sir. Sergeants, I implore every one of you, I call upon your sense of duty to inspire your soldiers to want to be great. Inspire your soldiers to believe that they are different, that they are special. You just, just, just don't transform your organization from good to great, but rather you inspire them to be great. Non-commissioned officers, in closing, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity to have spent the day with you. Our army is the envy of all armies. Why? Because of you, the non-commissioned officer. Congratulations on your accomplishments, but don't rest on your laurels. Continue to improve yourselves, your organizations, and your soldiers. As Dante Alighieri once said, the darkest places in hell are reserved for the morally neutral. Sergeants, where do you stand? Our future is bright because of you. Thank you, and I wish you all the very best. God bless America. God bless United States Army. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of the Master Leader course. At this time, we will have the playing of the Army song. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for viewing today's virtual graduation ceremony. This concludes our event.